If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's we. I know that's. Today is Monday, March 5th, and it is 10.26 in the morning. I arrived to campus at 8 a.m. this morning, and I um, I just used the first few hours of the day to get ready, do my makeup and my hair. I straightened my hair today. I don't always do this because lately I've liked my hair curly. Um, but I decided to just straighten my hair today and I can't believe how long it is It like goes down my back really nicely. Anyways um, Today I have the seminar. So last week I showed up to class and it was not the seminar day because it's every second week but because it was reading week the class skipped so anyways all to say that I have my seminar today from 1130 to 230 and at 2.30, my husband is gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go get groceries together because we didn't do that this weekend. But this week is gonna be pretty busy in terms of just getting a lot of work done. Um, we're reaching pretty much the end of the semester. We have only like four weeks left and I need to, uh, well, today we're gonna have a big meeting in class in terms of uh, the AI workshops that we have done. So we did the transcript, we found some themes, and now we just need to talk about them in order to write a paper. But we do have a round table that we're planning on February 15th, which is next week, Friday. So I need to help my colleagues. We all kind of need to get together to organize all of that and make it work. And then I have a presentation coming up this Friday, and then in three weeks, I have another presentation. So very, very busy month and um, yeah. So uh, this morning, like I said, I just spent time um, getting ready. And then after that, I edited last week's video. So hopefully I can get it out tomorrow. I'm hoping to edit tonight and hopefully edit a little bit tomorrow morning, but hopefully I can get it all done today. If that is the case, that would be amazing. Cause then starting tomorrow, I can just like dive deep into just reading because we have so much reading to do we also have a bursary application to do so very busy month this week i mean <laughs> very busy month this month um so yeah that's that's what's on the agenda today um then tomorrow um i'm gonna show you guys my month schedule so so far for this month i have mostly reserve my mornings to read and to write and then i have planned my work periods for the afternoon so that's how the month is gonna look like i have an hour before class starts and i did bring myself a lunch because this morning i went to the gym with my husband and i'm gonna try to push myself to go to the gym every morning this month because i really want to um push my health goals ahead so anyways i made some banana bread yesterday and i had that this morning with my coffee and then now i'm gonna have some carrots with hummus and i also made like a ham sandwich so this is my lunch um i'm not feeling too too hungry right now because i did eat that banana bread earlier um but i also don't want to go to class with like my food and i don't like eating in class because i think it's so like distracting i mean it's fine if people do it but me personally i don't like doing it so i think i'm gonna eat around like 11 because class is at 11 30 so yeah <laughs> super hungry so i took with me some uh goldfish crackers to my class but i only ate three like this bag is full 
but then I didn't eat all of it because um, we were just talking a lot but the seminar went really good me and my colleagues are making great progress on our AI um, group project and I'm super excited for the next few weeks actually I'm really excited to write for that project and I'm also really excited for the panel we're gonna have in a few weeks so it seems like everything is just working out perfectly for that group so i'm really happy how things are going but i do have a few things to do for the group because uh we're gonna be meeting on thursday we all agreed to choose a theme from the workshops that we did and write like a little excerpt so we could present to one another on thursday and then from there decide what we're really gonna be writing our article on um, but I'm really excited for that and then I also have to book the room we're going to be doing the uh, meeting in the book for the conference is already uh, booked but I have to double check with everyone so I have to write a few emails but while I do that I'm going to eat I haven't heard back from my husband so I'm pretty sure he's still in his meeting so that's fine but I am hungry so I'm gonna eat my lunch that I brought my carrots and my sandwich while I um, do all of those administrative tasks and then if I have the time then I'll continue editing my video from last week because there's no point of me getting into any readings and stuff like that given that uh, my husband's gonna come pick me up at any time now. So we're gonna get our things done so we can go home and not have to do any extra work today. So for today, like I said, it's just a easing back into it day, given that we had a seminar. So yeah, we're gonna do some work right now, editing, no reading, and then when we get home, we're probably gonna continue editing. So thank you very much for joining me on another day and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning beautiful people today is march 6 and it is what time is it right now it is 11 06 in the morning i got to campus today at 8 30. i had a little bit of a slower start this morning because or later start this morning because um last night kenzo kept barking at night i think the neighbors were like coming home late or something like that and then he just got up and started barking and stuff like that so he kept us up for a little bit in like the middle of the night so he disturbed our sleep but that's okay um we were able to sleep in a little bit this morning so it's totally fine um today is a very slow day i mean this whole week is gonna be very slow that's why you'll see that I'm wearing my hoodies like when I'm wearing my hoodies you know it's just like student mode 110 percent um but this morning I was able to just answer all of my administrative things I've had so much emails come to me because we're gonna be doing the panel for the AR project that we've been doing um, next Friday, March 15th. So I had to reach out to a few experts in the field to invite them to a round table. We did have like a full round table, but last minute one canceled. So I've kind of been in charge to find like another expert to join the panel. And I finally found one, which is like super awesome because he's like one of the top AI experts in the university. So I'm really excited that excited and happy that he actually like responded quickly and, and confirmed so I'm really happy about that but um, there's just so many other things also going on in the background that hopefully if everything is set in stone by next week I can share all of that with you all um, but yeah so 
this morning all i did was administrative tasks and then i edited the video from last week so that's gonna go up today um and then for the rest of the day so i'm going to be reading for the rest of the day i'm going to be reading i'm gonna be finishing the book on urban forest and then um i have a meeting at 2 30 today so that meeting let me take a little drink of tea so that meeting um i don't know like i don't know if this is like the right time to talk about this maybe i'll talk about it more in detail next week but there's just been a few misunderstandings with that project it's the project where it's three of us phd students and two ma students and this is like an extracurricular activity type of project and so things have not been going according to plan i had um talked to the other phd students with me and told them my perspective earlier in the year and they ignored me and anyways there's just been a, quite a few things that just been piling up that i disagree with and last week um once we did all of our activities for socio anthro week we had kind of like a disagreement in the group and today we're going to be meeting um we're all going to be meeting together to discuss everything and um there might be well it's not that there might be but um i'm going to be removing myself from that project because it's just um, taking too much time and there's a lot of things I don't agree with um, and so like I said I'm going to talk to you guys all about this probably next week because I think it's very important to discuss um, group projects or research projects where a professor is not directly involved so um, yeah I think I'll save that conversation probably for next week or even <laughs> maybe later today or tomorrow um after i'm done the meeting so i can really you know have the time to reflect and share all that experience with all of you um but um yeah like i said today is just reading up until 2 30 when i have to go meet with them and so the book that i've been reading uh that i started last week on um urban forest i have three chapters left to read um so i'm hoping to get them done this afternoon before my meeting and then um after my meeting i'm probably going to go home but this evening i'm going to be working on a powerpoint presentation for friday i'm going to be presenting my master's research project for the class i am taing it should be not too bad because i mean i wrote the thesis i did the research and everything so it's kind of like still fresh in my mind because all of this was done last year um but i still need to what's it called just um organize my powerpoints for that and then um yeah that's what's on the list for today tomorrow's going to be another busy work day and I'm going to be meeting with my AI research group and then um, Friday should be another day like that as well and then Saturday we're gonna go see my husband's family because they live out of town and we haven't seen them since December so we're gonna go visit them so it's gonna be pretty busy Sunday we're probably going to just you know do our regular um startup of or reset for the week and then next week it's literally going to be busy like non-stop in terms of organizing the panel for friday making sure that everything's okay um checking on with the research participants because they also want to be part of this round table and um and yeah and on top of that i'm just going to be doing a lot more readings so i can prepare another presentation for march 23rd uh which is my birthday but um i'm going to be doing the three-day conference um on that day that i had talked about in my previous video or in this video um but yeah it's it's march is just gonna fly by so quickly um and then a good thing is that i don't have anything like to submit or things like that for 
um, March 29th or the week after my birthday but the weekend of my birthday um, the Friday so Friday March 22nd the students I am TAing have one of their projects due so I will have to do grading um, the week the last week of March um, and then I'm really excited because like you guys all know I've been like just not doing things outside of school for a while and I haven't gone out <laughs> I haven't done anything for myself for pleasure and just for love and stuff like that but um this not, not this weekend but the first weekend of April me and my husband are gonna go see the band Real Estate we both fell in love with that band like five years ago I want to say when we traveled for the first time together to the east coast of Canada and so it's just is going to be a small show in another city so it's just gonna get us out of our everyday routine that we've been following um since like the pandemic and so this is just gonna be a nice way to break that and then tomorrow we're also gonna have another date we're going to be going to a local um theater that i have never been to it's really small in that theater they show short films and documentaries and so one of well the professor that actually invited me to speak and be a judge at the conference she's hosting in march um or in two weeks she sent me the link to a film that's playing at that theater um that's in relation to my research topic on trees and so um, me and my husband are gonna go watch it tomorrow so we're trying or i'm trying i should say because he's super busy with work um and that's the thing right like when we're both so busy with work like nobody takes the time to plan anything outside of work so um i just took the initiative to plan our little trip to montreal for the concert and buy the tickets for the film tomorrow um and it's just little things that just get you out of your everyday routine without breaking like the bank and um yeah i like i'm just i'm just really happy <laughs> i'm just really happy that i put time on my schedule for me and for my husband that's not just resting at home um so yeah so let's get to work because i have a lot of readings to do um and then we'll catch up later To be wrapping up my day to head downstairs to my group meeting and so I was able to read the chapters that I wanted to read the hallways have been super busy today I think people just want to like chill in the 15th floor because the view is really nice um, even if it's a little bit uh, gray today but anyways uh, I read the chapters I wanted to read um, and there's just like two more that as I was reading and skimming through I realized that those could potentially also help me so I'm not done with the book um, I have skipped a few chapters but um, there's two more two or three more that I want to do from this book and then I'll shift gears but hopefully I can get them done tonight by the readings um, and so tomorrow I can start writing my um, my research grant and preparing my presentation for March 23rd because this book is just really helping me situate myself within some of the discourses and debates um, really in, re in relation to urban reforestation but um, before we go there <laughs> was something I wanted to show you all because in December, my dog, my beautiful Kenzo, bit my makeup bag that I had found in the free cycle corner 
over the summer it was really cute um i think it was from like epsi like that little thing anyways the point is that it was like halloween theme and it had like cute little witches and like little vampire teeth and it was literally one of my favorite makeup bags i have ever owned and kenzo just chewed it to pieces so i've been looking for a makeup bag that's going to be fitting all of my makeup and stuff like that and I no longer have that much makeup I literally have this plus a few extra things that I have here with me but not everything fits in this bag so this is a pencil case I found at my house and uh, I was like I'm going to use it while I find a makeup bag and even though I've been thrifting and stuff like that I haven't found one that I'm like wow I really like it I'm going to buy it um and so right now as i was just looking around the office i realized that i have this bag this bag i got it from the korean culture center we went to back in october and so um yeah i was like oh my god i'm gonna use it as my makeup bag because it's super cute and it seems to be the right size so this is what my new makeup bag is going to look like. It says Ottawa Korean Film Festival and there's another, it literally opens into like one of those director cuts things. I forgot what their name, they're called, but this is so cute. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is going to fit all of my things um, that I have in here. I literally have 10 minutes before my meeting but um i'm so happy i found this bag here that i'm gonna use it because the other bag is just too small and i carry like these are the things that don't fit in that bag and i use them every day and this is why i found it annoying to have that pencil case as a makeup bag these three products are here this is my oil slash moisturizer my blush and my mirror so now everything should fit in here um but let's test it out so oh my god so i got this lip balm lip gloss the other day it's by essence i love essence it's one of my favorite brands because they're affordable and vegan um but this lip gloss while it's like super shiny and beautiful it's like sticky so if you see my video from last week, you'll see that I was wearing this lip gloss in a few of my chit chat moments and it looks like it's my saliva that's like in my lips, but it's this guy right here. So I don't even know if I'm going to finish it. Um, I don't like throwing out makeup, but it's not a, it's not a good product. So I'm just putting all of my makeup in here. I mostly own just like lip products <laughs> I'll show you guys like so all of this which is most of my makeup bank um, lip products I love I used to be a hoarder like a makeup hoarder like a real makeup hoarder like a, those youtuber makeup hoarders thank the lord that something clicked in my head and I moved away from over consuming makeup and it's so bad because like you don't even get to use the whole palette or product sometimes and like now just to show you guys like this blush i bought it last year for my first academic conference uh well first in-person academic conference in montreal and i've been using it every day and look i'm just reaching the the bottom but this is a really good um, blush. I really liked it. Um, it's just a bit too um, like light for the summer and for the winter. It's kind of like more of like a highlighter, I would say, at least for my skin color. And that's why, like in the winter, well, not in the winter, but in December, I got this blush. And this blush I got it from Winners, Marshall, and TJ Maxx in the States. Um, and it was on sale for like two dollars. That's why I picked it up and it's vegan. Um, but it's a very nice color. 
and I've been using it like every day now. This is the color I'm wearing um, and I absolutely love it. So I'm happy I picked that up, but that's all the blushes I have. I'm hoping to maybe get myself like a highlighter for the summer, but I still don't know. Um, and right now I have these two mascaras that were given to me by my mother-in-law. This one I did not like. Um, it's like there's no hold to it even though it's waterproof and I have really straight eyelashes so um, I'm just gonna use it to separate my lashes at the end like the wand this one is the one that gives me most of my volume right now and my length um, I've always or for the last few years I've used the telescopic mascara waterproof by L'Oreal um, but anyways I'm giving these two a shot so they're almost done too so I don't know if I don't think I'll rebuy it because or repurchase it because one of the things I didn't like about this one is that throughout the day it will like kind of smudge and go like here so you have to constantly be cleaning your your under your eyes um, so I don't think I'm gonna be repurchasing these so this is what the bag looks like when it's all full of makeup I'm so happy everything is one in one pouch now. So that's it for today, now let's head to my meeting. Mm -hmm.